it was a very, very liberal school when I went. And if anything, it just forced me to have to be more prepared, more articulate uh, and research my my uh, my opinions much more thoroughly. But now what you're seeing is punishment to conservative students, not only in the, in the form of grades, but actually with threats of being kicked out if they don't use the same pro right pronouns. But you have seen this growing over time. And these diversity and exclusion, uh, exclusion, diversity, <laughs> equity, and inclusion programs, these DEI programs that are being pushed down from, by the way, the board of trustees, who um, many times are CEOs of large corporations that have already gone woke, go woke, go broke. We've seen it happen last year. But that's what's happening at these universities. And it, it, you need to hold the, the board of trustees who is prioritizing and rewarding this type of behavior. You have to hold them responsible. But we can also do something else. Right now, it is a privilege for these schools to have tax exempt status yeah. and to also get federal funding. We need to stop that. The whole purpose of that, and it is a privilege, it's not a right at these universities. They, are, they enjoy that because they are supposed to be adding a value to the United States and to the citizens. And you know, they are supposed to be teaching people to be self-sustaining, not to be hateful, not to hate the American way, not to be destructive and not to you know, have, have death threats and be, be sympathizers and excusers of terrorist activity, which is what we're seeing being taught on these campuses. We can do something about it. And if, if you are looking to hire some of these students, find out, identify who they are and not do that. Um, and uh, anybody who's, who's helping to fund these universities with dollars and donations, Stop it.